um, different person here, let's see. I hope this is not the same person. Is it the same person? I hope not. <laughs> Hello? Yes, are you trying to call me? Uh, yes, I am. I've been wanting to. Is this CP? Yes, it's me. You're live on air. Okay, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you, Lord. I'm very good. Oh, I'm, it's, a, it's a pleasure to speak with you. I mean, I'm sure that goes without saying. I'm sure uh, everybody else uh, in your stream, all your followers feel the same. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to, uh, first of all, thank you for all of your hard work and dedication to the cause, sharing your vast knowledge with everyone, and for being the source and the inspiration for so many all throughout Speaker's Corner, all throughout so many other places that I see your work and your words overlap. And uh, it's, a, it's an absolute honor to speak with you. Thank you. I'm honored to have you, all of you. Actually, I have a big family. And it makes me happy to know more. I, I wish one day we can meet all those wonderful people, you know. But because yes. because of uh, the danger of what I do, I I uh, like uh, uh, I I stay let us say uh, more safe so I can continue my mission. Uh, but for sure, I would love one day to meet all those wonderful people who, you know, I'm sure they love to to see me too and to meet me. Yes, uh, and absolutely, and I agree, uh, preserving your security is really of the utmost importance because we certainly need you, and uh, for you, you to stay as secure is, is very important. So I appreciate what you're doing, and I think that you're doing the right thing. You're taking the correct measures, in my opinion. Thank you, thank you. And I hope that's what we do is going to be transformed into generation to come because remember, you know, we are just walking in this earth. We are not staying, you know. We, uh, there's kids will come after us, and they need to, somebody to teach them. So I hope that all of us, we are doing the right thing, you know, in the language we speak, like our sister who called from India, she can transform the information to people who speak in their, her language. So we have a duty. This is not only my fight against the devil. This is our fight. You know, it's not a one person fight. This is a fight for all of us. Well, I appreciate that. Coming from Serbia, and I'm sure you already know, uh, we have, there's a, there's a very, uh, there's a call to, to action within me and other Serbians, and you have been definitely a catalyst and an inspiration for that. And you've given us the tools that we need to bring this to fruition. And, and the seeds you've planted are definitely being watered as we speak. And I, I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to share uh, my take, you know, with your topic on what Christmas means to me and why I love Christmas. Okay, go ahead. Uh, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Yeah. So for me, uh, primarily, for instance, uh, you know, in Serbia, it has started to become more commercialized in the past maybe decade. Uh, before that, it was more about, uh, like it is still here, even here, of course, uh, in the West. But uh, primarily, it was about, uh, you know, going back to tracing back to to apostolic times of uh, St. Nicholas of Smyrna in the third century, and his work of sharing uh, the gift and sharing with sharing with children and bringing them gifts and everything like that. And that's like you said, like you said earlier, and as you well know, where Santa Claus per se comes from. But for me, when I think of uh, when I think of Christmas, for me, it's a it's a time when heaven and earth join in celebration, when wise men and shepherds welcome him, mm -hmm. and I get choked up just thinking about it. It's really, it's really an awesome time. It really is. It's a time when angels and humans sing together with joy, you know. And there's the the glorious hymn of laudation that God is with us, and it's a beautiful time. For, for Christians, it's a beautiful time to, to welcome those that are not Christians. It's a beautiful time to show who we are as a family, the church in heaven and the church in earth uh, as it is in heaven. So it shall be on earth. And it's a time when we unite and join together in celebration of our Lord. Exactly. You know, Christmas is a spirit, is not a date, is not a day. It's a spirit you live. It's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a change. It's, a, it's a something touch your heart like I heard you like uh, 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 crying. So, you know, uh, Christmas is not is not just a, you know, a holiday where people uh, go and do shopping, as you say, they make it commercial. This is not have nothing to do with Christmas. Christmas is about Christ and about what Christ can change in our life and how that will change the life of others because we change too. So Christmas should be have an impact on me and my family, the way I treat them, the way I treat my neighbor, the way I treat everybody and how I can be useful for society. And now. Because if you became or you choose to take such a route, many they will go against you and many people will make fun of you. Because these days, if you are a Christian, they will make fun of you. I mean, uh, even those who claim to be Christians, 
because they don't want somebody to remind them that they are not doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I notice that there's a lot of Christians that are in the so-called closet, you know, uh, they don't really, they don't really speak openly, but everyone needs to realize that we all have our own way of conveying our, our faith, our, our, our love of, of the Lord. And it, everybody doesn't have to do it in the exact same way, but it's Christmas is beautiful because yes, it's a time for the merchants. It's a time when people are out off of work, uh, kids are out of school, but that's a perfect opportunity to approach those people, uh, and act in a way that is a representation and example of Christ. And that's why the Christians have set up so many beautiful charities where they, where they take care of the children, where they feed the homeless. And it's really beautiful that people that are secular, people of all, all other faiths as well, have actually joined in on that regardless of, of, of uh, being Christian or not. And that is a perfect opportunity to approach those people in in a in a way of brotherly love and and show them give them that sort of that portal is open you know and then show them the way show them the way by example you know by your own actions i mean well thank you very much sister yeah. for calling I'm, yeah. I'm i'm honored to have you and to hear your your words and your and, and your say and i wish you a merry yeah. christmas yes thank you cp yeah thank you very much for taking my call i encourage other christians to call up uh and 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 share with the topic, what, why they love Christmas. And uh, I also would like to ask uh, the, the listeners right now to join your Patreon and become followers and or supporters on there because this does not continue unless we all join together. And uh, thank you very much, uh, brother. Thank you, Christian Prince, for all your work. And mm. I look forward to, to be, being in contact with you and speaking with you again maybe one day. Okay? Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.